you will see why that this game costs five dollars. Hi everyone. Hello everyone. Today I'm going to teach you how to play Murder at the Manor. Allow me to read both of these sentences. Up here it says, figure out who done it in this murder mystery scavenger hunt game. And down here it says, race against the other team as you hunt for clues in your quest to crack the case of the murder at the manor. This game kind of sounds like Clue, doesn't it? And it kind of is. As a matter of fact, this is a tag team scavenger hunt version of Clue. After watching this video, you will see why that this game costs five dollars. So when it comes to teams, it's going to be one team having the same number of players as the other. And because this, this game requires four or more players, the teams are played either as in two on two or three on three and so forth. Anyways, this is what you get. Here are the instructions, which is just one-sided. There's also a little, like, information card. Go ahead and pause right now if you want to read that. And it's titled, Foul Play at Milton Manor. There's also a checklist. Each team gets one checklist. There's also two evidence envelopes, one for the red team, one for the blue team. And then there's also cards. Oh, there's also this too. Two answer envelopes, one for the red team and one for the blue team. And then for the cards, you have your clues, one for the red team and one for the blue team. I just have to read this off though, because one part of it is really funny. So for the weapons, there are five total. You have candlestick, bottle of poison, clothes iron, letter opener, and antique vase. For locations, there's five. There's bedroom, kitchen, garage, dining room, and pantry. There are also five suspects, and they have very, very funny names. You have Serenader, Rhoda Camel, Sir Up To No Good, Dr. You'll Be All Right, and Souffle. This is quite humorous, but after once you see the whole video here, you'll find out that this is not going to be good enough. I'm also show you all the images on the cards. Both the red and the blue cards have the same images. So there's Serenader, a famous singer, Rhoda Camel, uh, an explorer, Souffle, a chef, Sir Up To No Good, a host, and Dr. You'll Be Alright, a doctor, bedroom, kitchen, garage, dining room, pantry, then you have candlestick, bottle of poison, clothes iron, letter opener, and antique face. So this is how you get the game going. Red team takes all of the blue team's cards, picks one weapon, one location, and one suspect, pick those cards secretly without letting the opponents know, and put those three cards in the blue team answer envelope. Then the blue team will do the exact same thing for the red team's cards. Then the red team will take the remaining 12 blue team's cards and hide them around the house somewhere. I do not recommend you hide the cards outside because if these are cards after all, even small square ones, if it's windy out, they're gonna get blown away. So play indoors. So anyways, once that red team has hidden all 12 of blue team's cards, blue team will again do the exact same thing for red team's cards. Now I do recommend that each team should hide the opposing team's cards in specific locations in the house. Let's say for example, the red team will hide the blue team's cards in both the kitchen and the dining room. And then let's say blue team will hide the red team's cards upstairs in two of the bedrooms. In this way, no team will find their own cards by accident. Once all the cards have been hidden from both teams, each team takes their respective colored evidence folder, and then, three, two, one, go. The scavenger hunt begins, and both teams 
race to find the cards that were hidden by their opponents. Once a card has been found, the team will add their card to their evidence folder as such, and then that team will mark the evidence on their checklist. The game continues until a specific team has found all 12 of their cards. Thus, the opposing team must stop what they're doing so the other team can make their accusation. At this point, the team making the accusation has already won the game. Because by finding all 12 of the clues, that just leaves one of each of the categories unchecked. So the team can use the unchecked clues to announce who done it, where, and with what as their accusation. The opposing team then reveals the three cards from their answer envelope as proof to the accusation. And we all know at this point that the team making the accusation has won the game because those, those three cards are going to match. Yep, that's Murder at the Manor. A scavenger hunt version of Clue that fails to get out of the gate. This game would be made so much better with two things. One is actually optional, and that is, instead of using cards as clues, use tokens. That way, you can hide them outside so that the wind doesn't blow them away. This gives you more hiding opportunities. But for number two, the strongest indicator that would make this game so great is that it ultimately needs a time limit. Imagine if both teams picked one card and made a very clever, tricky hiding spot. The game would take hours, and that's just no fun at all. But also, it's also not quite good to have one team find all 12 cards and make an accusation right away, knowing that they're already going to win the game, which I think is really, really stupid. So, a time limit, of course, is really necessary. Let's say, for example, how about five minutes for a time limit? So if both teams play through a game for five minutes and they are unable to find all 12 of their clue cards apiece, then they're gonna have to use whatever they found and they both make an accusation even if their accusations are wrong. This game makes the game more fair and even more suspenseful. Also, because that everything in this game is made out of paper and cards, all tucked inside a massively unnecessary giant box that has so much room in it. Sadly, I did pay $5 for this game, but I say it's worth $1. It's still better than Happy Salmon Card Game, but it doesn't even come close to being as good or even as great or even as special as Clue. Just by clue. Trust me. Anyways, that's gonna do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe for more. And don't forget to check out my gaming channel, Marcus B. Gaming, for video game let's play content. I'll see you later, but until then, like always, take care.